The eleventh hour. What happens to a Christian when they die? A biblical perspective. I would like to dedicate this CD to my Uncle Troy Singleton, who received hospice care in his home for the last six months of his life. Recently, my 81-year-old mother asked me, Susan, what happens to you when you die? I am going to answer that question during our time together today. Part 1. Where do we go when we die? 1 Thessalonians 4, 13 through 14. And now, dear brothers and sisters, we want you to know what will happen to the believers who have fallen asleep, died, so you will not grieve like people who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and was raised to life again, we also believe that when Jesus returns, God will bring back with him the believers who have died. 2 Corinthians 5, 1-8 through For we know that when this earthly tent we live in, our bodies, is taken down, that is, when we die and leave this earthly body, we will have a house in heaven, an eternal body, made for us by God himself and not by human hands. We grow weary in our present bodies, and we long to put on our heavenly bodies like new clothing. For we will put on heavenly bodies. We will not be spirits without bodies. While we live in these earthly bodies, we groan and sigh. But it's not that we want to die and get rid of these bodies that clothe us. Rather, we want to put on our new bodies so that these dying bodies will be swallowed up by life, eternal life. God himself has prepared us for this. And as a guarantee, he has given us his Holy Spirit. So we are always confident, even though we know that as long as we live in these bodies, we are not at home with the Lord. For we live by believing and not by seeing. Yes, we are fully confident, and we would rather be away from these earthly bodies, for then we will be at home with the Lord. Footnote, 2 Corinthians 5, 1 through 10. Paul contrasts our earthly bodies and our future resurrection body. Paul clearly states that our present body makes us groan. But when we die, we will not be spirits without bodies. We will have new bodies that will be perfect for our everlasting life. We will still have our personality and recognizable characteristics in our resurrected body. But through Christ's work, our body will be better than we can imagine. The Bible does not tell us everything about our resurrected body. But we know that it will be perfect without sickness, disease, or pain. Won't that be wonderful? Philippians 3, 20 through 21. But we are citizens of heaven, where the Lord Jesus Christ